Good morning, aloha. Happy Sunday, you guys. It is time for me to go for a Sunday ride. Girls are playing outside in the backyard. John is here to watch them. He's got the weekend off. And I'm gonna go take the KLX for a ride. Super excited about this, you guys. Pretty much wanna do kind of a mini series touring the island on the motorcycle. Some of you probably like, yeah, that's not for me. We'll go back to the family stuff next week or in the next video, you guys. But today I really wanna go explore and I wanna go see the leeward side of the island, right? So yesterday, uh, the last video for you guys, we went up and we did Peacock Flats, the four by four trail. If you haven't seen that, check that out right there. But today we're gonna, I'm gonna ride up there, pretty much start where we went up at the uh, Space Force base. It's kind of weird saying Space Force. I'm gonna say it wrong and say something not correct. I always have coffee when I watch Radar, you know that. Of course I do, sir. Everybody knows that. Of course we do, sir. Uh, but <laughs> the, we're gonna start right there and, or I'm gonna start right there and I'm gonna drive the leeward side all the way to Koalina take a look at the Disney Resort, all the resorts through there, and then book it back. This is the first time that I'll be taking the KLX onto an actual highway. There's like, I don't know, five minutes of actual highway that takes it up to 60, 65 miles per hour. And so I don't know, you know, I've, we'll see how it feels. If you guys know anything, like I, previous videos, like I've had an Indian Scout before, that thing didn't have a windshield, but it was a beast of a bike and it rocked the highways, in my opinion. I mean, you kind of felt like your head was doing this at, you know, 90, but I'm not supposed to be doing 90 anyway, in most states anyway. Um, so we'll see, this has got, you know, the dual sport tires. It's really lightweight compared to it. There's no windscreen, it's tippy. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go for a ride, go enjoy some scenery. Come join me, you guys. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Uh -oh. Alright, guys, let's do this. So we are up near Kana Point on the leeward side near the Space Force Base. This is really my second ride on this KLX 300. So far, so good. It is really so beautiful up here. It's definitely a bit of a drive, but I'm happy that I came here in the morning. See, that is the entrance to the Space Force Base. There's a lot of motorcycle riders out here, which is pretty cool. A lot of spear fishermen, fishing going on. Definitely a different kind of beautiful than the windward side. Very dry out here. Reminds me of Route 1 in California. So I'm going to leave this without music, you guys. If you want me to put background music on this, these kind of videos, let me know. But otherwise, you guys, I think it's kind of nice just to hear the sound of the engine.
good cruising like this. You know, it's never was designed to be a highway bike, but these back roads, this is nice. And you can't beat the scenery. Good lord. What kind of gorgeous that is.
close to Koalina at this point. And uh, the electric power station. Electric Beach, that's where we went the other day. We took the girls to do some snorkeling. Amazing snorkeling. Probably amazing because it gets the least amount of visitors and uh, you don't have people stomping all over it. But keep in mind, you guys, to wear reef safe sunscreen. Okay? And don't just assume that buying it here. I had the assumption that, you know, because Hawaii made it illegal to use any other sunscreen than Reef Safe, that you wouldn't be able to buy the regular sunscreen here. Oh no, you can walk up and buy it anywhere. That's the most shocking part. Uh, I actually had to go to a corner of the store, like around the corner, to find the Reef Safe sunscreen. So, it is a thing. Know, kind of don't know the science behind it myself, but you know, if it does help the reef return and grow, then then why not? That one's not much of a beach, there's not a whole lot of room compared to the other ones, but oh my god, the snorkeling was amazing, and you're going to see a lot of scuba divers, a lot of spear fishermen going in and out of that. A lot of the kids like to play in the waves right there with their boogie boards, and uh, you know, I'm not a specialist, but you get the idea. Alright, so we are turning into Koalina. This is one gigantic private resort area that the Disney Alani is a part of. It's like coming into a whole different Hawaii right here. And more speed bumps. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is gorgeous. Uh, if I had the money, I would totally stay here. It's hard to justify staying at one of these resorts right now because, of course, we live in on Oahu, so why would we do that? But it just looks amazing. Well kept, so beautiful, but it is a whole different world than the rest of Hawaii. So 
secret beach is right around here and it is almost impossible to get parking. They have this whole parking lot, look at that, whole parking lot that they've permanently blocked off 90% of the spaces with chains, see that? So, if you want to go to Secret Beach or if you want to swim, right, because, you know, Hawaii state law, the beach is for everyone. So even though this is a private resort to Disney, you can still walk up and go to this beach. But what they've done is they've truly limited the parking in this area. So, um, I have now attempted to come here three times with Alex and Haley and I have failed both of those, t or all of those times. Actually, really small trees compared to the ones else around the island. Like the ones on Schofield Barracks, the canopies, they are so massive. And the houses are just tiny things in comparison to the trees out there. Alright, so there's the, I think that's the Marriott that we're coming up on. And then after that, there's the Colina. Uh, harbor? I'm gonna guess Harbor. Holy in a Harbor. Do you want to check that out at some point? Alright, so turning down this way heads to the harbor and the actual Coalina Resort. So many other people that are accelerating and slamming on their brakes, going over speed bumps, accelerating, slamming on their brakes, and I'm just mm, maintaining speed. It's kind of nice. Look how beautiful that sky is. back you guys had a wonderful sunday drive <laughs> sunday drive sunday ride with the klx really starting to enjoy this bike next up you guys i want to start finding some dirt trails around here i know there's a motocross park over there i've been kind of hesitant to just pay for the membership but i think i'm just going to suck it up and do it want to get some riding in i want to take the girls up there with their dirt bikes and dust off everything and just go up play and have some fun but i mean 
it's just so nice because we're not used to having the ocean so why not go and play in the ocean but long story guys i really had fun and i know a lot of people you know yeah it doesn't have the power of the 450s and all that stuff but for right now on island life this is pretty sweet and eventually like i may get something like a tenere for actual adventure riding but this and what it's supposed to do is a dual sport is perfect and john has been saving so much money riding this guy of course being an aerosol he hasn't been able to take this guy because he's bringing all of his gear and stuff like that but yeah anyway it was a pretty hot ride starting to cool down a little bit john survived being the, the dad at home so i'm really happy that he survived because that means that i get to continue to go out and have some more fun um i offered for him to go for a ride but he was just kind of i don't blame him you know when you're playing in the jungle all day long for five days it's kind of nice to just sit on the couch and relax i on the other hand i'm trying to get out of here and enjoy some of this so thank you guys for watching if you made it this far hope you guys enjoyed the tour a little bit tomorrow we're hoping to take the, the power boards out i'm watching the wind i'm watching the tides i'm really hoping that we can get out there Oh, I gotta probably check the jellyfish tide for it, but we're gonna, we're, it's eventually gonna happen. We're eventually, and if not, then who knows, maybe we're gonna go mountain biking somewhere. We're gonna have some kind of adventure for you guys. Have a good one. Mahalo.